Oh, let's say you're fake, clearly. <laughs> nah, welcome back to another episode of Regular Person Podcast, where we talk about regular people stuff. Today, our guest is Jamar. You know what I'm saying? We go way back from elementary. Anything you want? Yeah, elementary. Oh, yeah. Uh, I went to the school he was going to from fourth to maybe, I think, sixth grade. Then I left to go to another school. Then he ended up coming back where I was. Coming where I was. Oh, oh. And then he left and went somewhere else and then that was it. He was staying in contact. Anything you want to get up to the water now? What do you got to tell? Uh-uh, what do you want to do? Whoa. Yeah. I'm good at strength, I'm rich. Yeah. Anything you want to get up to the chest before we start getting to it, getting to it? Nah. Not that I have to thank, uh, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, but, uh, let's just jump back to the childhood friends. Used to hang out, used to get into it. Arguments like everybody else used to get into it. Fast forward, my boy helped me after after graduation, after graduating high school and stuff. Called him up one day. I said, bro, I need a job. I need to get out of Louisiana. I need to get going. Help me over to CDL. But how you how you got into driving trucks? Sure. From being around it, from my daddy, that dude did the work. Twenty something years. Mm. And I got family members that drive, so I just jumped into it. Yeah, and yeah. it just took off from that shit. Doing the work. Seven and a half years. It's a long time. Damn, you did. I thought I've been doing it for eight years. You've been doing seven? Yeah, seven and a half. I thought you was been doing longer than me. A little longer than that. We started what? I started 2017. April? I started in uh, September 2017. I probably all. Because it'll be eight years in what? April, right? Yeah, for you. Yeah, April coming up. Yeah, so it'll be, yeah, it be eight years then. Eight years. Eight drums up. Damn. Damn, got me tripping. It's the same time both of us. Damn, I thought, yeah. I don't know why I thought, I thought you started a year before me. Nah. What made you? It was like months, months out. Damn. Do you feel like you, uh, trucking changed your life? Or oh, you think trucking did something good for your life? Definitely, because I get to see the country. And I know being a regular person working, what, nine to five, you ain't gonna be able to travel state to state like that. So, trucking helped me see everything I wouldn't be able to see as a regular person. Mm-hmm. Plus making the six figures. Man, oh, money, when you first started driving trucks, I know how I felt. When I first started driving trucks, bro, I was scared to leave Louisiana because that's all I knew. When I got that first big check by myself, it was well worth it. How right. you felt when you first check? Oh, great. I ain't never saw that much money at one time. It was like you kept coming in every week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When we started back in 2017, I think that's the peak of trucking. Like, that's when it, you know they fall off and come back, fall off and come back. Yeah. We got in right time, 21. At the right time. And then that's when the automatic started coming too. Then you had a great drive, no uh, right. no stick. Mm-mm. Well, see, how many times it took you to pass your test? You used to sit there. Mm, took me what? One time. That was the first time. You feel that? <laughs> it took me three tries to pass my test. Right. Uh, pre trip I passed. The uh, back and forth, I failed that. Had to do LA Doc. Then I filled the uh, parallel parking. Then I came back and filled the goddamn drop. No, I didn't get the driving port. I didn't even have to. I passed the driving port once. No, I did fill the driving one time too. You took the uh, test with the manual? Mm hmm. Uh, but when I started, I had to, when we started, I had to do a manual. Yeah. Now everybody got their own oh, automatic yeah. side. But then you get that restriction on the mm-hmm. license. So. But I mean, not every truck now is about to be a manual. So. I mean, automatic. But still, it really wouldn't matter. But some of these older jobs locally, they still want you to have that. Yeah, they don't want you to have, uh, they want you to drive. Man, they ain't putting you in an automated like they did in force. Yeah. But, uh, That's what you're doing? The manual? No, I'm doing automatic. I got a new truck. But um, I was doing automatic, but they put me in a new truck, automatic. Which made me the next questions. You think locally is better than overall, overall better than local? Mm-hmm. I'd say over the road better because you don't really have nobody on your back. Like, yeah. versus being local, you got somebody always watching. But I would say over the road too, bro. You got they constantly calling you if the load just a little late, or if you don't wake up just a little bit over the past some ten hours, you get calling. You. But then it depends on what company you with too. What kind of dispatcher you got? Close though. From what uh. Just bet you is. But when you drop for you drop a prime eight at one point in time. My second go around in prime, 
My dispatch was horrible. I had a lot of bad experience with dispatchers, bro. So I, I would like to say. That many times to get your own truck. I did get my own truck, and that was a. That oh, was yeah, a, you did get that, that day cab. Yeah, I see my dog got his own truck, bro. Hey, a yeah. big milestone. <laughs> and see, the people wish they had a truck. Like, they could have go buy a truck. Shit, it was, it was cool, too, for a while it lasted. I made about, in six months, bro, I made, like, at least 30. 30,000. But it was, like, it could have been way more than that. The truck wasn't going down. Right, right. So the truck was up one week. Yeah, your truck stayed in the shop. <laughs> they gave me a lemon. That wasn't the truck I wanted at first. My dude really went by a whole truck. Oh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, okay, appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm thinking about it right now. We should keep going. But I think, I think I'm, I don't know. I, I kind of want to stop driving. But I kind of want to keep going with it. What you think? That depends on fuck. You saying, like, what you think? You want to keep going or you want to uh, stop? Me? Yeah. I'm about to stop. I'm getting out of it. Why? Fuck uh, money. The money not how it used to be. I think after COVID, some the prices of the land is kept going down and down. So the money not just move. I could have easily give about two hundred thousand a year. Mm. Now I could barely make a hundred. I think, I think people really, and people are selling a lot of people selling all their stuff because they feel like it's gonna be down forever. But once they come back up, what y'all gonna do? It? Probably like, not forever, right right but it's gonna be a while. I don't, I wonder how long it was before when we first. I know we got in when we got in. It's like before COVID we had got in. So I, don't, I wonder how long it was before that, like right. before it went up. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we, we got in at the right time to make it. That yeah, was good. How long you stayed out? When I was on the road? Yeah. I was confident when I first went out. I'm staying out for three weeks. Come up, come back, come back. And then my, me and my dispatcher got cool. seven days, huh? Yeah. Okay. Can we come back home for seven days? Yeah, back home. That's big. I came home for seven days. No, I came home for three days. You couldn't come home for no locally. I mean, I was like, no, no, no. You was doing it? No, I was a uh, dis. I was a uh, company driver. I went to come home for three days, four days. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But the, I lied. My first dispatcher was a good dispatcher. Me and him got so cool to where I ain't had to see several days home. I called him and said, I want to pass through. Mm -hmm. And the pass through little always set me down for two, three days. Oh, yeah, all right. I mean, so, yeah. so, for all you drivers out there that's really like driving right now, y'all company, don't set no certain time home. Whatever state you want to go to, or you just want to go home, period, call your dispatch up. If he cool, we say, I want to pass through low, through my state, through my city, like through my, uh, and close to your house as you possibly can. Right. That low going to drop you off. He gonna get, if you drive good enough, you do a rocky plan, you preach up good, you're going you're gonna, to uh, get there either a day or a couple of hours before, the, you know, a day early or a couple of hours before the load got dropped off. You be sitting there at home, chilling. Take up the load off, and you might go get a load until later. You can tell your man, "Old me, I gotta take a yeah, I take a ten hour break." So you gonna be at home the next day, and then the next day after that, you might not get your load until late that afternoon. Right? You gonna be at home for two, three days, just passing through the city. You ain't gotta take your home time. Home, you could be. You yeah, could. I forgot you used to do that like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's before you moved to Missouri, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, but uh, you know what? I'm trying to get into trucking a little bit. Now you, you transfer from out of, you came, you, you came locally, you started driving over the road, came locally, went back over the road. Now you're trying to come home. What you trying to do when you get home? Uh, that I can't really tell. I can't <laughs> We got to wait until it happens, you know. You speak too fast, you never know who out there, you know, talking down, wishing on your downfall. So once I make that move, then they going to know. I'm going to kind of go back a little bit. How you feel about... Do you, do you still get in contact with any like child other than me and your childhood dudes you used to be cool with? I mean a few of them. It's like, it's a, it, it mean the world, everything different now. Everything just, uh, it changed. Like the, as far as like, uh, we used to do back in the day. People don't really keep in contact like they used to. Everybody no. has their own life too, so you can't really look at it, you know. Like, oh, they don't fuck with me no more, so they probably got their own thing on. Oh yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, everybody got kids nowadays. But it's like, like yeah. especially at our age, everybody got at least one at our age. Shit, yeah, at least one. <laughs> my, see, I think you don't want to got one. Yeah, I got one. Now, how, how you feel about having a uh, kid? Better yet, how you feel about having a daughter? Uh, 
<laughs> sometimes I wish, I love her to death, yeah, but sometimes I just be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because I want to wait a little longer. You know? I'm still in my 20s, so I'm like, oh yeah. 28. Oh, man, you old, buddy. So I'm like, but I mean, I'm happy she came to because then she made me want to hustle harder, you know? I always had dreams, but no motivation. So when she came, she became that motivation. So yeah. now I'm just trying to do it for her. It's like it's easy. You think it's easy? You think it's, is it hard to parent when you go over the road? Or is it? Yeah, it's hard. Because, I mean, by her being, what, two years old, she gonna only look at FaceTime for, like, what, a minute or two. And that's it. If that. Yeah, if that. It's not like we're gonna have a full conversation for about 20, 30 minutes. It'd be like a few seconds and that's it. And then, bro, when you over the road and you got a kid, you missing so much milestone. Right, right. Walking, right. crawling. You miss anything? Uh -huh. I miss every, a lot. A lot. Yeah, I know I miss the come. I miss the, I the new lot. words. But I seen the first steps. I seen I the crawl. But I miss the like the words, like a new words every week. She come out with new words. I didn't see the first crawl. I didn't see the first steps. Damn. Yeah, see at the video. Damn. Like one minute I was home, she used to be crying because she didn't want to crawl. Call on FaceTime about two weeks later, she crawled. So how long you stay out? Three weeks. Go home seven days. There's not even enough time. Maybe be Three home. Time, bro. Yeah. You think it's better to have a daughter or, or a son? I prefer a daughter. Why you feel like that? Well, as far as me, I prefer a daughter because I ain't grow up around love, so she won't, she, she won't love me. Oh yeah, she have a, a great father. That's right. I'm gonna teach her how to do everything. That's how I fuck with my daughter. I feel like having a daughter, you get to, I don't want to say shape them into what you want them to be because you can't, but you get to show them what love, like you say love is. Yeah, you, you can show them like what to expect from from the man they might be talking to. So I hold myself, I don't know about you, but I hold myself to so much of a high value. Oh, my morals are different, maybe than other men because I want her to see everything. So I'm looking at doors so her. I'm making sure she got the best of the best clothes. And then by Everything. starting early, she, when she a common one, she already gonna know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And then I try to treat her mama with the love and respect too, so she can right, see right. that as well. She gonna see it, though. Cause I mean, you can't make them, make them be what you want them to be, but you damn sure show them. To a certain extent. Them kids watch everything, so man. Well, they don't miss nothing. Everything in a book. You think you want, you want a son or you want a daughter or you done? Uh, that's a question up, but um, right now I'm one and done. I might change my mind over right now. I'm one and done. I don't want no more. Just one is too much. But I think she, since she's two years old, all that walking, running, she bad. Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible yeah, tools right now. Tools, terrible tools. You're going to be dealing with that for a minute. Pipe train going good? No, we never started. Uh, she she cleaning and wine all day, man. Now, I know you uh got you got you got a baby. How you feel having a baby? Mom? Well, I don't know a baby mother. I don't like saying baby mama. How you feel like the relationship is with your mom, child, your child mother? I'm being like uh oh, shit. Like being like being like basically like parenting that while I don't really want to go too too deep. Like I'm just everything good as long as you do what you gotta do and help her out when she need help. Everything should be smooth. I don't have one of them that just fuck about everything. Even when you're on the road? Yeah, I mean, that's the When I'm home, mm -hmm. it's good. But when you're you might fuss about something here or there, but it'd be like, it's a pretty stuff. stuff. It's a pretty yeah. stuff, man. You don't be about them big. Damn. It's but that's just because she be home for what, three to four weeks by herself with my kids, so with no help at that. I think because I should just be one that break. The last break, the last couple people I did podcast with. I asked you the same question I asked you. Do you feel like it's easier? What you think if you had a village like we had back in the day, you know, right, right. our grandparents right. and stuff? Right. Yeah. yeah, you think it'll be easier for us to do what we have to do now? If we had Definitely. Somebody in the circle would have watched them. Mm -hmm. But you don't have that now, though. You feel like, because I, cause I this me, and I don't really say this so much, but especially now, like, you know, a video or whatever. But I feel like our parents. Ain't the same as our grandparents. Bro. I feel like our parents. I feel like our parents more so like 
want to be a little bit more free. They want, they want to be they want to be free like they was when we when they had us. So they're not even taking that. I don't think they're taking that same mindset as their parents did, which is not always bad. But at the same time, which leads me to my next question. Now it's like I got a unfortunate relationship with your with your with your grandchild, with your niece, with your you know your your nephew, whatever. All right. And I said this in the last episode too, but I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. But you don't have to force it though. You can just it is what it is and keep on moving. As long as you take care of it, that's all that matters, really. Mm -hmm. Cause she don't know she had that at the end. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. She don't know you don't. But I mean, it would be better if everybody just come together, like how they how they used to be. Yeah, it's like even you know, holidays. How you feel about holidays? I feel like holidays ain't the same either. Oh, no. I don't even dress up for more holidays. Nobody really celebrate them like they used to. Yeah, they don't even cook. Now you right. You you play. Like, you want to start doing traditions outside of Louis, outside of Louisiana, outside your regular family? Like you, like okay, you got your daughter, you got your girl, your your, your girlfriend, or and you want to go out like say you want to go to Tennessee and cabin. Do you do that? It's kind of like traditional like family trip. Yeah, like for holidays, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving, and Christmas and stuff. I would rather do that than like get together the house. I would rather take on a trip for a holiday. You bring family with you, like you bring your mom and her mom with you. Or something? Yeah, they they could come and they like. But if we want to just family us, then we'll go. But we, we might be like, uh, let other people come to you and then you start asking. But at first, we think about family. That's it. It's a no outside. No, no, no. You know, enjoy the trip for real, for real. Hey, what's the what's the uh, best call you since you since you uh, been, what's the best trade call you drove so far? You got a project call, you got a call, you got your ferry call? Uh, the challenge of course. Because I had two of them, you know? Nah, I mean. he didn't tell y'all that I'll be him one time <laughs> racing in my Mustang. <laughs> we could go line them things up right now. Shit. No, we could. Right there, what that is, see. No, no, I can't tell y'all that. I can't tell y'all that, because they be like, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna cut it off. Uh, no, I'm trying to see I don't think I missed anything yet. But yeah, the challenge, man. Unless, uh, well, until you drive one. Mm -hmm. you yeah, you see, let me drive here tonight before you leave. Nah, I don't know about all that. Right, 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 right quick. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't. But then, I'm I might big, trust you. I'm not big into. I'm not big into them cars like that. I'm, I'm sticking to the small car, the Mustang, man. Build that. Mustang. Mustang. Hmm. We need something big, man. Nothing y'all need. You, uh. Oh. Yeah. I just yeah. want to yeah. yeah. I heard, I know me, you were talking about, uh. Something on the screen. They didn't get serious. I said you didn't get into it. Uh, that's part of the thing, honestly. I am not looking to, like, blow up, blow up, like, like, Kai and me. But I don't even have to do that, go that way. Shit, yeah, yeah. Right. How I'm just doing it for fun, it's something extra. It sounds like kind of like the podcast episode. No, like the podcast, I mean, it's kind of like the podcast we do. Oh, I do. It's like you trying to do this shit. I'm not trying to, I like to, I like to get into people. Not necessarily like to get into people's business, but I just like to get into see what, what people are headed at. To see how they feel like every, every day. Like, like how you like, every, all the podcasts you just see. Everybody always talking about how fancy life is and how the good life is. I'm trying to ask you like how your mental going, how you was growing up, like you know what I'm saying. That did you feel like like deep, yeah, deep like deep, like, deep, like work, cause break be all regular people. So I mean, that's why I, I call it regular person podcast. I'm trying to see if, how everybody doing. So I like, mean, you feel like you, you had a good childhood growing up uh, up until like my parents got a divorce. Mm -hmm. Everything before that was good. When is divorce? I don't know, I think I was in like elementary school and then after that it was just downhill. Before that it was good though, house, church, Disney World and all that shit. But after that divorce, that was it. No yeah. more that day. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, well I came to y'all school, I came to school with y'all. Yeah, that and the came in the downfall. I can't, but I, I'm also dealing, I was also dealing with my, with my people divorcing too. Mm -hmm. Going to a new world. No people, no friends, dealing with 
Little people. Right. Little people. Little people. Little everything. Because when you're moving around, now you got to meet new people. You think well, you don't have to, but that's how. That's you think for your daughter, so you think you'll like try to keep her like in one school or you move around? Yeah, I'm going to try to keep her one school. Mm hmm. Because if she stopped making friends, you know, I definitely wanted to just keep keep them friends and stuff. Private school or public? Switching. Public. Okay. Okay. If I go home school, I'll do home school. I'm trying to go private. private. I don't think private school ever get, you know, have emergency stuff. I don't want to say like that. I don't think they have emergencies. We got to rush to the school. The public school, oh, some, right. yeah, they always got some shit going, stuff going on. That. I'm saying private school, they like, it's more secure. See, kind of goes to private school now. But it's like, it's not, it's not a private school. But everybody, anybody pay for school unless you get it, unless you, unless you don't get approved for it. All right. But uh, I ain't paying for it yet. Right. I, I got lucky. Right. But uh, the public schools, I feel like they got too much. They ain't teaching. They teaching the kids, but at the same time, they're not all them at all. I feel like it's, it's a little different. Right. And they always got some drama going on. Yeah. Because at public schools, most of the time, it's just let anybody in that bitch. Anybody? Oh shit! Well, yeah, that's where everybody yeah. goes. Just let everybody in that bitch. You know what? Well, private school, they were kind of select, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Select public. The public, the public better. To me. Public, oh, public better. Why you say public better? I mean, if you get more freedom out of public than private. You ain't gotta do a lot. You ain't gotta do it. I don't know too much about private school. But when I heard, they love straight. That's about it. But you been to West Saint John. You been to West Saint John. I mean, you know how it is. Yeah, the hood. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's the hood. Yeah, the West Saint John was the hood. I think Lutcher probably. No, I think Lutcher was kind of the hood. No, no, not at all. They have more white. They have like white people. Right? I know it's so strict at Lutcher. Strict as fuck. No shit, not to me because I was like. I got away with a lot of stuff I shouldn't have got away with. Mm -hmm. Definitely got away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, you got anything you want? Before I hear you, got anything you want to ask me or anything you want? Like I said, anything you want to say in the beginning? Well, what should I ask more? About how your family life going? Oh, shit, mine's going crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm good right now. This is yeah. probably the best we've been right now. That's everything we're doing right now. So, all right, you know how over the road kind of conflict with your relationship mm -hmm. with the ball over the same way? Oh no, I think I, I think I got better. I think I got better locally because now I'm able to help and my dog. So you don't do all that extra fussing, like how you would over the road? Uh, I think when I first started driving over the road, you fussed a lot. I mean, not all locally, you fussed a lot. Cause it was like, I had to get a concept. Yeah. I had to get a concept of how to do, how to do locally. And I'm so, my mind was so focused on being, I was used to being on the road for so long. But now that I'm back over there locally, yeah. it got easy, it got way easier. I know, over the road, it's, it's hard, bro. But the job I got now is basically like, over the road, I'm working seven day, I'm working on the clock. So then it really changed. Well, one to the clock out. Mm -hmm. Seven hour club, but sometimes you just call them and say, I don't want these many days off. Uh, so it's, it's a rotation shift? Like you work days, nights, or? Then I work all days. Huh? It's all days, day shift, no night shift? Then I work all. It's a. Uh, it's not rotating. No, you get up in the morning, you basically start when you want. Okay. They just want you to ride that clock that they don't have to. Keep a lot of paperwork. Yeah, so, so you just whenever you get up, that's when you get up. Yeah, as long as you, I think they say as long as you're up before seven o'clock. Oh, okay. As long as you're up before seven o'clock, you good. And then you're not off till the clock is running off. You know, you, you get off. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's different. You get off once you finish that route. Oh, okay. So right now I'm on water route. You get three loads, and go home. Cause you get the landfill open at six thirty, and it closed at three. Mm -hmm. The landfill not letting you in two forty five to fifty nine a.m. So I ain't go back. Right, so yeah, you'll wake up later on that job. Now I wake up a little early because you get in 6 30, so I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to the plant. Get my first load in my truck. About 5 30, 5 45, then head to the landfill. I know that everybody gonna be in there at 6 everybody gonna be in there at 6 30. 
So I'm, so trying, I'm trying to beat the line. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wait for the line to end. So I'm at 6.45, 7 o'clock. The line over. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to drive over after over. Tired of driving over together. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, bro, I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you coming through, dog. You want say your social you got social media. You say you want to nah, share your social, social media. media. Shout everybody out? Nah, I know what I Alright man. See y'all next, next episode. Oh yeah. That was that was good. Man, you did good.